vehicle tracking provider Mixed Telematics has added 27,000 new subscribers during the six months to September, and that contributed to an 8.7% rise in revenue. Joining us now to look at those numbers is Group Financial Director Megan Padigadu. Megan, I remember the last time you were in the studio, we talked about the fascinating business model and the yes. prospects for growth, particularly in the Americas. Yes. So we've been very pleased with the results we've posted. Just to correct you, we've actually added 44,000 subscribers for um, the half year, 27,000 for this quarter. We've adding at a rate of 28% onto our base in terms of subscribers. We've hit a milestone. We've gone on over the 400,000 mark. And we're executing on our strategy. We're seeing fantastic um, growth in terms of our subscription revenue mm. with over 24% for the just, half year. Just remind us of the model and what these subscribers look like, what they're buying from you. So basically what they're buying is they're buying a box that they put in their vehicles. And then out of that box, we get data. And we turn it into actionable um, intelligence that we give back to them in terms of how they're monitoring mm -hmm. their vehicles, their drivers, performing with um, compliance. And then also one of the other side benefits is if we get their drivers to drive better, we reduce their fuel. So we're actually saving them money. So mm. it's a, a good return on investment case. Mm. Megan, we've seen something like this being implemented on the South African market. And I'll say the name, Discovery Insure has implemented it to, to a lot of their clients. I mean, the US, is this something new for them? Well, we don't actually play in the insurance telematics space, which Discovery play in. We play more in the enterprise space in terms of fleet management and mobile asset management. So we're looking at um, global enterprises and looking after their fleets in terms of giving them data that they can use to manage their fleets better. I suppose we have to ask, and you, you say in your statement about uh, the new business you talked about the oil and gas sector in yes. particular, but going beyond that, yes. it sounds as if, given the US's kind of record in technology and being entrepreneurial, this should be a tough market for you, but it sounds like it's quite easy. Not easy, but, but you're making big strides. Well, in terms of how we went into the US, we made a concerted effort that we were going to go in small and build our base, and I think we've done that successfully. We've also positioned ourselves in Florida, which is a nice base into South America, and we see a lot of opportunity in South America too. We've opened an office recently in Sao Paulo in Brazil, mm -hmm. and we've also recently just announced that we're going into um, uh, Brazil with our Beamy product, and we're going to be using Sasco, who's a big telematics player there. So there's a lot of growth opportunities for us in, in the mm -hmm. Americas. Mm -hmm. Looking at uh, the Middle East as well as Australasia yes. region, your revenue line there grew up by at least 45%. Yes. What are you doing right there? I, I just think uh, the adoption of telematics is getting faster and faster. People are seeing that there's a real return on investment case and we've just been seeing good steady sales and to large enterprises. So it's been a, a high adoption rate there that's giving us a good growth. What sort of, uh, you, all countries are different, continents are different. I mean, yes. thinks of a Brazil, which is a vast population, uh, but a very different place to the United States or yes. to here for that matter. Yes. What kind of issues have you had to deal with there? So from a regulatory perspective, Brazil is quite a tough country to go in. And you need to make sure that you've got locals on the ground. I don't think you can just transplant South Africans into that environment. We've got a really good, strong team there in Brazil. We've got a, a local Brazilian who's operating in the telematics space. So I think that is a differentiator for us in terms of making it a success. And also we've decided not to try and roll out our Beamy product in Brazil by going in there. We've gone and rather chosen a partner who's already established. And they will be doing the custom, customer acquisition. We're really just giving them the technology to deploy. Mm. Isn't that something that's rather important, uh, uh, having a partner when entering a new market that you're not familiar with? We just had in the news recently that Woolworths has decided to pull out of Nigeria. And for many South African companies, it's been challenging when trying to enter uh, a different market and, and doing it independently. So I take it that's your strategy regarding partnerships has worked yes. fairly well for you? Yes, no, no, it has. And before we go into a country, we make sure we've done a lot of research, that we understand the country that we're going into, and that we choose the, the right partners and players in that market. Mm -hmm.